Hello everyone. So today in this video, I would like to show you how do we practice the COBOL programs uh, on your desktop. So either it can be in a Windows operating system or it can be on a Mac operating system. I have received a request from a couple of uh, subscribers asking me like how do I practice the COBOL programs. Considering those comments, so thought like let me create one video and let me publish this so that it can be helpful to anyone. So without wasting any time, so I'd like to get started. So before I get started, so in on how do we download this IDE or how do we com uh, how do we download this compiler? Let's uh, let's refresh view of the COBOL points, and then we'll get into the in detail. Okay. So let me uh, give you some overview of the COBOL programming. So what does the COBOL stands for? COBOL stands for the Common Business Oriented Language. So where uh, if you are already working in the COBOL in the mainframe world where you have written uh, COBOL programming so or we are interested in learning the COBOL programming so this is where we are using it we are uh, it is used as a batch applications basically we have both batch and online in the batch application so it's uh, the COBOL program is mainly used for the report processing where we generate set of reports the reports can be either for the payroll processing or it can be related to finance industry or the insurance domain banking domains so which are purely developed in a COBOL programming and and COBOL can also used for the online applications where the customers will log into the online screens that is CSS screen so with that also uh, we use a COBOL program okay so that means the COBOL is used for the both batch and an online so online when I say online this is nothing but uh, uh, it's a, like a website where you access any google.com or anything right so it's an online system right so so with that said, you might be having a point that where exactly do I see the COBOL in today? So do I do the COBOL is still being written or uh, are the people still using this COBOL program? So the many people have a doubt here and many people uh, get a uh, different kinds of understanding saying that okay no more the COBOL is not being used no more or the COBOL will be not used in the further developments. That's not true right so actually I have gathered some of the information from the IBM uh, portal and then I'm giving you that start particular information in front of you now so they say like uh, about 95% of uh, ATM swipes using the COBOL code right and also the COBOL powers 80% of in-person transactions and every day the COBOL system handles dollar three trillion in commerce you can see how big the uh, the money is so every day there are 200 times more COBOL transactions being executed than there are Google searches. There are over 220 billion lines of COBOL programs running today, which equates at around 80% of the world's actively used code. Yes, right. So there are many technologies have been coming in the market, so like other uh, people's uh, uh, started uh, programming the, the initially from C, C++, uh, Java, C Sharp, Python, Ruby, the many of them programming language has been uh, came in the market after the COBOL. So they're, they're still running it. So but when I say active code, so which is live production in the production, which is running and which is used for the business purposes. So you can see that 220 billion lines of COBOL program, which is being used, right? So that is being running today. And mostly it's, uh, as I said, uh, the, ma the major industries are the banking, finance, uh, uh, reservation systems, the way the COBOL programming used. Let's take an example of the Citibank itself, right? So Citibank has n number of customers, right? So you can imagine, so backend, how much programs, uh, they might, what the program may, might have been used and how, uh, how many number of lines they might have written just a simple example and this is just a simple example of the uh, bank that I'm taking so there are many different it can be the finance uh, companies insurance companies so where still the the COBOL is being used right so that was uh, just to give you some confidence about uh, if you have if you are worried about no the COBOL is not being used or if the people say like okay the COBOL is dead or something no not absolutely not right so you have a there are many changes that are coming up then IBM has come up with many different changes predominantly every uh, year they are coming up with new uh, some more other features okay so don't worry about that so 
and uh, features of the COBOL it's a search query programming easy to understand easy for maintenance high computing capacity uh, better understanding of application programs and more readability of an application program so this is a structured programming or we call it as a procedure oriented programming language it is like an English like language and which is very easy to understand and easy to maintain as well so once you know the basic foundation of COBOL program how to be code definitely I can damn sure you that it is very easy to understand and easy to maintain uh, and you can work on any kind of enhancement request if you're working in any of the organization or if you're new to uh, beginner to the COBOL programs and I'm, I'm saying you it's very easy it's the only thing is you need to learn the basics uh, very clear so then only you'll understand uh, the complex program very easily okay so now without wasting any time so so types of COBOL so one we have a PC based COBOL and another is connecting to the mainframe so when we say PC based COBOL it is mainly used for the mini uh, small applications uh, for small size applications so where the first one comes into the picture is a micro focus so where they have the COBOL compilers or the applications to where some of the uh, companies they download these and they work on these applications and uh, we also have some IDs uh, so where we can use its particular IDs uh, to work on it and we use a GUN COBOL compiler for this in this video I'm going to show that how do we use that and how do we practice and uh, there is a real mainframe so where actually if you're already working in any of the ma mainframe computers so so there you might be using this IBM mainframe computers it's mainly used for the large size applications okay so now uh, I'm I've logged into this particular website so where we call it as a open co COBOL IDE so just you can go, go to Google and uh, search for uh, co open COBOL IDE so you will be log getting into this particular page and you can see what this uh, is providing it provides a syntax highlighter code completion code code foldings and uh, it's uh, if you're if you have seen any of the IDs like Eclipse or VS Code or Visual Studio so where uh, it will show you the syntax highlighter and it it identity it has an auto sense IntelliSense features where it will show you the keywords highlighted in different colors and same things exactly the same features uh, this particular ID is providing and uh, so it has a dependencies like GNU COBOL so where which has they have taken this compiler and uh, they have been using what is the GNU COBOL if you want to go into in detail so you have the Wikipedia here so this is the compiler that we use so we can see the free implementation of the COBOL programming language so this with the help of this so this is written using C and C++ I'm not going in detail about that so now we need to download this right so just click on this particular link so that it will take you to the download link so where uh, you can download this ID so if you are working on uh, if you are using a Windows you can use uh, this particular setup file to download and if you are using a, a Mac so you can use this MD5 and then you can download and you can install it okay and another thing they have micro focus COBOL right so this is this something I'm not using now so this is mainly used for the small size application so this is this is the website link if you want to get in detail about GNU COBOL what it is so you here is a link so you can go there okay so now what I wanted to do is uh, let me so once you install that open COBOL ID so you see an icon here so just double click on this so now it will open the application so if you want to write a new so you have two options one is new file and another is an open file just you click on the new file so it will ask you to write to the uh, COBOL program so let me say like I'm uh, hello world or something so just say hello so that's me like click on OK so do you want to overwrite if it is there yes I want it to overwrite so now you can see uh, you got this particular window right so now by default it has added identification division data division and everything is there right so everything is by default it has been written and you can see you can see all this the different options like file section it will go to working storage sections the different navigation that's a navigation bar where you can write it so now so since we have already coded the program right so let's uh, compile this right so how do I compile just click on this so now if the COBOL gets compiled and it gets executed automatically and now you can see the hello world okay so let me change this welcome 
let me type something else welcome to Kumar IT channel ok so now let me save this by control s and then run now you can see the output has been changed I hope so this is uh, this is how you can get practice so this video is completely uh, recording based on considering that you know the basics of COBOL and you uh, have landed onto this if you uh, if you are not aware of the uh, of the COBOL programs basic just you can check my other uh, links that is provided below or you can check my playlist where I've started uh, where I have uh, published different uh, videos on the COBOLs starting from the basics to uh, the different set of uh, topics okay so okay so let me come back to this so here you can uh, write author name so Kumar IT channel okay let me write my name or you can mention some date so date like 0707 2020 or purpose uh, testing I'm just practicing purposes this I'm practicing okay so just it's for you can mention that so tectonics copsy okay so now you can see this program extension is hello.cobol so that way you can write this okay so if you want to write another new program just click on new and you can just type it as second so what is the extension so it has provided this particular ID has provided several extension uh, so either you can use dot cop dot cbl so then as part of the practice I'm using this again you can see so the same another new program has come okay so other options to explore here is uh, let me take uh, some this card okay if you have already written some pro COBOL programs so then you can just open that file so so what I'm going to do is uh, okay not here mm, okay so here I have to go to desktop okay so here I have something cobalt programs then I'm clicking on open so let's say arithmetic okay so now I have open so I have different kinds of a cobalt programs written here so maybe you can go there and uh, you can practice this uh, this particular programs so okay so I have provided I mean not to worry of these programs so for a better use what I have done is I have copied all these COBOL program to my Google Drive so I have provided the below link so where you can download all these programs for for your practice and I also added this program to the git repository where you can download from the git repository as well okay so if you look at this program so this is uh, this program is which is already there just I'm trying to uh, just explain this so if I hide this here right so all the uh, working storage section will be hidden and if you if I expand this now you can see all the variables are displayed so even if I uh, hide this so nothing will be visible so just you can uh, focus on what which uh, division you wanted to check so that way you can uh, do it so that this has very wonderful uh, features within this ID uh, it makes you feel like uh, if your friend is working on a Java or a C sharp so it makes you similar kind of a feel uh, when you are especially practicing seeing this this is just for the practice purpose so in real time we don't use much so just for practicing uh, for the quicker uh, purpose this uh, IDE can be used in otherwise in real time we connect to the IBM mainframe and we there we code it and uh, also the IBM has provided several uh, IDEs so in some of the organization they they use IBM rational or any other IDEs to uh, do these things okay so since I have told right so let's work on different options here so let's say preferences so in preferences you have style so I just I wanted to change the style here so font size if you want a bigger size so you can just change this and uh, and uh, you have editor color schemes right so let's say if I want to select the friendly uh, the font that style will be changed and uh, PIM so it will come to this particular mode just click on OK now you can see so this is similarly that if you are working I mean it's uh, the screen makes you feel like okay I'm connected to the terminal okay so this is how you see right so when you are connected to the mainframe terminal so that way you can uh, change the themes here so preferences and then 
so okay let me go to native and uh, click on ok so this way you can change it and another preferences I can take let me take um, okay, tango. Oh, click OK yeah right so this way you can just practice and uh, again in trying to compile this now you can see so all the programs so whatever I'm listed here so these are already practiced on uh, the mainframe terminal and also here so maybe you if you find any errors just you can just try to fix that and you can run it so almost every program runs well okay so with that said so these are the different uh, things I thought of sharing right so this is the page so where you have downloaded this and uh, if you are not aware of a uh, coding sheet uh, so this is how the coding sheet uh, looks like so if not uh, uh, you can also watch my other videos where I have uploaded all the basics on the cobar programming okay so now let's look at this one to six page line numbers and continuity so these are a few things that you can consider while writing the cobar program okay and by the way so I have uh, downloaded this cobal programs into the git repository where you can download it from the link that I has provided okay okay when I when you connect to that particular URL so this is my URL so where I'll be uploading all the different kinds of a program so that it can be used for anyone right so just wanted to make sure like so this co this program so whatever the knowledge that I'm sharing it it will reach to everyone and it will be helpful hoping that this will be helpful to anyone uh, who are uh, interested in learning the mainframe so these are the different links I have provided here within this script hub so where you can just go and watch those if you or if you want to refresh anything and on your technology on the mainframe side okay so with that said thank you so much uh, for uh, watching this tutorial so if you do like this kindly please uh, do subscribe uh, uh, share or provide your valuable comments thank you so much happy learning